More than a dozen bullets cut through a Jacksonville woman's home early Thursday morning, coming within inches of the family sleeping inside. One of the people who survived is talking exclusively to News for Jack's I team and says if it weren't for her five year old Great Dane, her son would have been shot. These are pictures of Naomi who died in the drive by shooting. I team reporter Tarek Miner has surveillance video of the moment the shots rang out. And uh, I heard a, a bullet fly over and it felt sound like it went through the house. Surveillance video captures what victims say is the sound of three different weapons, one of them a high powered rifle opening fire on their north side home. We're protecting the identity of this woman because she fears for her life. The bullets whizzing by inches away from her, her husband and three sleeping children. And all you heard was pop, 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 pop. And the whole like you know, the whole house was riddled with bullets. And all you heard was boom, 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 boom. Like it just kept going. One of them went through right there. That's a, that's a bullet right Yes. There. News for Jax counted at least a dozen bullets in the side of her home. One of the bullets went through the house and came out the other side. The bullet went all the way through the house? Went all the way through the house and came out right here. Another bullet unfortunately hit the family dog Naomi, a five-year-old Great Dane that was sleeping on the front porch. The victim says Naomi was first shot in the paw and then immediately stood up, blocking her son from more gunfire. Yeah, she, she was she definitely saved my son's life, definitely. If she wouldn't have stood up when she did, my son, he would not be here today. She, she honestly took the bullet for my son. According to the police report, JSO officers found multiple shell casings on the street in front of the house. Detectives say they collected them and they were taken to the property room. This woman is desperately pleading for JSO to find out who did this and make an arrest. Mom, I'm hoping that the police, um, you know, at least investigate more and see if they can figure out who done it and why it was done and maybe get to the bottom of it. That way stuff like this don't happen again. That was Tarek Minor reporting. Now, the homeowner doesn't believe she was the intended target in this shooting, but she says she is now moving out of that house. If you have any information about the gunman in this case, you're asked to contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office.